Consumer Cellular has a well-deserved good reputation as a phone service for seniors. To be fair, all ages can subscribe to their phone service. And while they offer simple phones with large buttons and other features that seniors appreciate, like the Verve Snap flip phone, they also offer phones that can surf the net, video call, and perform all the other functions one expects at a complete smartphone at an affordable price. And while Consumer Cellular offers many smartphones, this, the Verve Connect, can be had for under $100. And with iPhones and other advanced phones selling for more than $1,000, perhaps the Verve Connect is the smart move for smart shoppers who want a smartphone without their wallet smarting. Hi, I'm Jeff Hoyt, Editor-in-Chief for SeniorLiving.org. In order to help people age with ease, we review medical alert systems, telephones, and other tech that allow seniors to live independently in their homes. Today, I'll be reviewing the Verve Connect cell phone. This is Consumer Cellular's exclusive smartphone, along with their phone service. I'll unbox the phone, test it, and list the pros, cons, and latest prices. I'll explain who can benefit from the Connect, such as cost-conscious seniors who want to utilize the many features of a smartphone, including calling, texting, browsing the net, and making video calls. You guys, today I'm going to unbox a phone from Consumer Cellular. It is called the Verb Connect. You can see it's nice packaging, and that's the phone right there. Let's get it out and see what it comes with. I want to make sure it has a charger. It's not fair to have to pay extra for a charger. Pop that out. Nice see-through packaging there. Look, it says phone charger below. We could be in luck. Now, if we're really lucky, it'll have a USB-C cable. Those are the ones that are most used now. Here's the phone. It looks pretty thin. It's a good size, good heft. Maybe a bit big for men's shirt pocket, but for a pocketbook or purse, should be fine. And let's see what else it comes with. Yep, as it said, it's got a wall charger and a cable, and it is USB-C. That's good. So I'm going to take this, plug it in the wall, plug the cable in there, hook up the phone, and while it's charging, I'm going to be reading this to see how to use the Verve Connect. So a senior who wants to use the Verve Connect, well, they need to have a good grip. Unless you're built like Shaquille O'Neal, you're probably going to need one hand to hold this phone and another to operate it. Although it's over six inches long, the Android Power phone is still quite light and thin, which is helpful to some, but could be a detriment to others who have less than a steady hand. Now for a budget phone, it has some surprising features, including a fingerprint sensor that you can use so the phone won't work for anyone else, and a headphone jack, this hole here at the top, which lots of phones are abandoning. I wish my $1,000 phone still had one. Now here's the screen. Of course, you could customize the artwork or even replace it with a photo of your grandkids. Now when you plug it in, it's pretty obvious that it's charging. So you can see the home screen with plenty of apps preloaded. But this doesn't have every bell and whistle and isn't filled with unnecessary apps that people call bloatware. I don't want to bore you with lots of numbers that people use to compare phones, but I will say there are two cameras. There's one here and another one here on the front. So you're going to need the back camera at people or objects to shoot them, even in the dark, thanks to the built-in flash, and while the front camera is for selfies and video calls. And you can always add a small SD card to add more storage, and you can offload your images to a computer or the cloud when storage becomes tight. So here's what I think is the biggest issue for any smartphone. Now that I've opened up the camera app, well, how do I get back to the home screen? And this isn't a knock on seniors. My daily driver is an Android phone. It's the same operating system as the Kinect uses, but I actually had to look up what I needed to do to get the home screen back. See, my phone has a virtual home button on the bottom of each screen, making it easy. And when I got the Kinect, it was set to gesture mode, which means no home button at the bottom. I learned that I had to make this gesture in order to get the home screen back. Pro tip, I suggest going to features under the settings and changing the system navigation to virtual navigation, as opposed to gestures. And that way, the home, the back, and the recent app buttons are always visible. Otherwise, you may forget to do what you want it to do, which makes the whole experience really frustrating. 
Even a smartphone as simple as this one has so many settings and options that it can be personalized to suit you best. But that takes some know-how. And while it works right out of the box, well, you want it to work for you. And most importantly, you need to learn how it works. Now, on the other hand, the Verve Snap flip phone, also from Consumer Cellular, well, it can't do very much, but it's very intuitive. So the learning curve is a lot easier for a senior to navigate. Now, because the Android operating system is from Google, the phone is equipped with lots of different Google apps, including the Chrome web browser. And surfing the net, well, with Chrome, it, it works okay on the Connect, but it's nowhere as fast as the phone I usually use. Other provided apps include a consumer cellular app for managing your account, a voice recorder, Google TV, FM radio, and a flashlight. So we've been talking about the smart part of smartphone, but what about the phone part? Calls on the Connect using the consumer cellular service, well, they sound clear, and the speakerphone, it's pretty loud. Here, check this out. I hit the phone button here. I'll dial this number here and I'll put it on speakerphone. Thank you for calling the Consumer Cellular Test Line. This is a free call for you. By reaching this message, you now know that your service is working properly. If you need to speak to a representative, please press 2 now. Thanks for choosing Consumer Cellular to provide your cellular phone service. So it's nice of them to provide this number so you can test out your service. And the phone connects easily to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And for our seniors who rely on hearing aids, well, the microphone rating of this phone, it's M4. That's the highest rating for hearing aid compatibility possible. While the telecoil coupling rating, it's T3. It could be higher, it could be a T4. But then again, the price could be a lot higher as well. A lot higher. Consumer Cellular offers the phone for just $89. I've had dinners that cost more than that. And as I showed in the unboxing, that includes a cable and charger. Consumer Cellular will even let you buy it over time with $17 down and $3 a month for two years. Still too rich for your blood? Well, we've seen it advertised even cheaper. Of course, it won't work without service. Oh, so now you're thinking, this is how they get you. Sell the razor for cheap, and then they stick you on the razor blades. Uh-uh, Consumer Cellular service starts at just $20 per month which includes unlimited talk and text and one gig of data, but not local taxes. AARP members save 5% or a dollar a month. Now to get these low rates, you need to allow paperless billing and auto pay from your bank account, or it's an additional $5 a month. And if you use more data, well, you're gonna pay more, up to $50 per month for unlimited data plans. Consumer Cellular also offers accessories, including a drop resistant case and memory cards, which make it easier to add contacts or music to your phone. And like Henry Ford said about the Model T car, the Kinect comes in any color the customer wants, as long as it's black. So is the Consumer Cellular Verve Connect right for you or your loved one? Well, if you're looking for an inexpensive smartphone that can surf the net, albeit slower than more powerful phones, and make video calls, well then you should definitely consider the Kinect, along with the Consumer Cellular phone service. They offer a 30-day free trial, so if you're not completely satisfied, you can cancel, return the phone, and you pay nothing for the phone or the service. Nor do they charge activation fees. Some service providers will charge long-term customers $35 for activation, even if they're just upgrading their phone. I'm looking at you, AT&T. And no long-term contracts. In fact, if you're not happy with the service, well, you can ask for the phone to be unlocked to be used on other service providers after it's been paid off, of course. Now on the downside, seniors who've never used a smartphone before, they may have a little trouble learning how to best operate the phone to get to the features they want. And while seniors have had expensive smartphones, they may be put off by its speed or lack thereof. And there's no built-in medical alert devices, although the phone can easily be used to dial 911. In fact, there's a special emergency feature. If a user just presses the power button here five times quickly, well, the phone will dial 911 automatically. And Consumer Cellular does offer medical alert devices, as well as simpler phones for seniors who aren't ready for or don't really need a smartphone. And we offer even more information about Consumer Cellular on SeniorLiving.org. And for more products to help you age with ease, visit SeniorLiving.org, where you can find and compare housing options for seniors, including in-home care, assisted living, nursing homes, and everything in between. And please, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks!